Hey guys, so the objective of our lesson today is that you will understand how finding equal groups helps you understand the division process. And this is where we're starting chapter five. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is the size of equal groups. So over here on this side is where we're at, okay? 24 pieces are divided into four groups. All right, so here's one group, two, three, four. So down here at the bottom, you will see that we have 24 pieces, all right? Okay, so we got 24 pieces. Let's just count to make sure. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. All that is is skip counting. Remember, we've been talking about skip counting and multiplication. So, okay, so 24 pieces divided into four groups, all right? So it says there are blank pieces in each group, and then so 24 divided by four equals what? So here I've got one, two, three, four pieces. So one, two, three, four. And then I've got one, two, three, four pieces. So I'm just gonna use tally marks. One, two, three, four pieces. And then another four, one, two, three, Four, that's so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then at the bottom again, one, two, three, four, and up here, tally marks, one, two, three, four. All right, so again, one, two, three, four. Now, remember when you do tally marks, you do one, two, three, four, and then that becomes five, okay? So one, two, three, Four. And then we got another four. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. All right, so now let's count and see how many we have in each of the four groups. So we've got one, two, let me get a different color. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here is six. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six we got six again and then one two three four five six six again and then we've got one two three four five six we have six uh -oh. six again okay all right, so it says there are blank pieces in each group. So there are six pieces in each group. So 24 divided by four, what is our quotient? Quotient is a term that you need to know. Quotient is the answer for division. Who remembers what the answer for multiplication is? If you said Product, I had to think for a minute. If you said product, you got it right. So, now we see that there are one, two, three, four. There are four groups of six. And then I work it backwards, watch this. I know that six times four is 24. Now, do you see how important it is that you know your multiplication facts? All right, so now we're looking at there are blank pieces in each group. 10 divided by 5 equals blank. So here we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups. And then down here we've got 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we are going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to put one of these in each of these five circles. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? And now we're gonna go back and add, add the last. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there are blank pieces in each group, okay? So how many pieces do we see in each group? Two here, two here, two here, two here, two here. So there are two pieces in each group. So I know that there are how many groups? We said one, two, three, four, five. 
So there are five groups, and then the number of total groups, or the number of each piece is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? So, the 10 goes there, so we've got 10 divided by 2 equals blank. So, we got to figure out what times 5 equals 2. Well, I know that 2 times 5 equals 2. So, 2 is my quotient. All right, I'm going to work one or two more with you. 18 pieces are divided into two groups, okay? Let's see. Yeah. So, there are blank pieces in each group. So, let's see how many we got. Three. You got to count by threes because there's three in each group. So, there's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, okay? So, there are blank pieces in, eight, in each group. So, there's eighteen. Whenever you're dividing... The largest part of the equation is always going to be listed here, okay? So, 18. And then how many um, groups do we have up here? Two. There's one and two. So, we see that 18 divided by two, I know that, well, I know that what times two gives me 18? I know that nine times two gives me 18. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to show you just to give you a better idea. I'm gonna show you how you can work it out. Okay, so there are two, so I've got one, two. So there's one, two, three, four, tally mark, tally mark, three, four, five, six, tally mark, tally mark, five, six, tally mark, suck, tally mark, tally mark, tally mark, uh-oh. I forgot to add my cross there. So that's 10. Tally mark, tally mark. Tally mark, tally mark. Tally mark, tally mark. Tally mark, tally mark. So, there are blank pieces in each group, so let's count. Here we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine pieces in each group. So if I have 18 total and I put them in two different groups, then I have nine. I also know that nine times two is 18. Okay, now I want you to try this one and this one and this one. Okay. This one, this one. All right, so now for this one, let's take a look. Number of equal groups. So we've got 40 pieces are divided into groups of five pieces. So let's count and see how many you got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so there's six. And then remember, I'm just skip counting. Six. So two rows of six is 12. Three rows of six is 18. Four rows of six is 24. Five rows of six is 30. Seven rows of six is 36. And then eight rows of six, six is 42. So there are blank groups. So how many groups? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven groups. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let's see. Alright. So it says, let me erase this. Alright. Look at it at a different way. Okay, so there are blank groups, 40 divided by 5. So I, got, I know that I've got to divide them all into 5. So there's 
five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So it says there are blank groups. Let's count the groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight groups. And 40 divided by five is what? So I can also reverse that and go this way. I can say, what divided by five is 40? So I know that eight divided by five, or eight times five is 40. And so that must mean that 40 divided by five is eight. Okay, now I want you to try this one. This one, this one, right here, right here, and right here, right here. You need to get these done today. What well, you don't finish today, um, you can try them for homework, but uh, you'll have to have them finished tomorrow before PE. So no play. You don't do if you don't do your work. You don't get to play. Okay. All right. So. And then tomorrow you'll do pages 11 through 20. And you'll have to do this in Google Drive whenever you pull it up rather than camp.